Joey from JLD Travels. Coming back with a new video today. We'll be jumping in and checking out another video from the Black Filipino TV. Uh, but just before we do jump into that, just a little quick sort of uh, update. <clears throat> We're now just 33 days away from me travelling back to the Philippines. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And decided to sort of break up my initial travel outbounds uh, to the Philippines and so basically what I decided to do because I quite enjoyed how I traveled there back in April of uh, on the 8th I'll be flying from Gatwick to Athens with EasyJet yes EasyJet fingers crossed nothing goes wrong with them <clears throat> uh, then I'll have a four hour layover in Athens which isn't as long as it was last time but it's enough to have a little bit of a quick pick stop uh, get ready for the the longest part portion of the flight uh, which will be flying with Scoot again just on the way there this time and we'll be leaving there I think it's about half two in the afternoon and then be flying to Singapore and land uh, in Changi and I'll have t about 21 hours there. <clears throat> so kind of like a full day. So it gives me time to sort of get over any sort of jet lag from the flight from Athens to Singapore. And then I'll be flying from there. And I'm not going through Manila this time. Yes. I'll be actually flying into Mactan International Airport in Cebu. And kind of by accident but kind of not at the same time uh, I've given myself two days in Cebu because I've not actually been there and uh, do know a couple of people that are married to family friends and friends of mine that are from Cebu so I wanted to obviously experience Cebu for a couple of days and then uh, we'll be flying from there down to Tacloban and be landing there on the 13th so yeah, that's going to be really, really awesome. Really, really excited. So I cannot wait for that. And uh, any other updates up to then, I will do uh, maybe like a small separate video or anything like that. Um, without further ado, we're going to jump into this video, which is titled Reasons Why Younger Filipinas Want Serious Relationships. So it's kind of like a on the street kind of interview sort of style video I mean, it's not something i've really re reacted to i don't think yet this style of video but it's nice to obviously understand from their point of view of why they want serious relationships and some of them are interested in obviously having like a foreign a foreigner partner so where obviously i'm engaged to a filipino it's just nice to know sort of their train of thought and what they think so Without further ado, we'll jump in and uh, see what it says. Like foreigners from other countries, they mm -hmm. go to the Philippines, they date Filipinas from provinces or from yeah. online, counter love, and it's sincere. It's mm -hmm. really nice. I'm NBSB. You never had a boyfriend? You no. Know. Oh. Would you date someone older? What do you consider rich? I think dating older men is kind of, he'll be the one to drive our relationship. Yes. And how much do you want your man to make? I have a question for yeah, him. Yeah, Why would you date a Filipina? <laughs> Fuck. I'm I cannot wait. <sighs> Love the Philippines. Hey guys, welcome back to the Black Filipino TV. Now, today we just got finished eating. We barely ate anything. We're working on our low calorie diet right now. So we let you guys know. You guys will see the progress in about two months. But if you want to know more, stay tuned. I'm going to have it on my shorts. But yeah, guys. But first, before I get started, me and Kay were with our family. We were at MOA. That's just so annoying. Zumba TikTok. Having a good time now, guys. We went over to the Moa Garden. If you're ever in a, a Mall of Asia, check it out. It's Instagram worthy. Fun to be around for family. It may not be so much for you, but if you were the lady, 
Filipinas love taking pictures, so be sure to take it a more. The other day, I made a video, and it was titled, well, not the other day, but probably about six, seven days ago. And the video was talking about getting with older Filipinas and why it works for some guys. Then you have some guys say, oh, well, no, no. Oh, well, no, no, I don't want to get with an older Filipina. Now, it's rare that this happens every time. Every time I make a video about something, you say the opposite. Just please don't do that. The video is for people that want to date an older Filipina. So if you look down in the comments, you see some guys say, oh, Jay, yeah, I want a Filipina around my age. I want a Filipina a little bit younger. That's around their age. So anyway, guys, this for the guys that want to date a younger Filipina, right? Now, same thing. Just don't come in the comments and say, oh, Jay, Jay, the video is not for you, if that's the case. I'm gonna get to the benefits. I'm gonna get into pretty much everything about it. Now, a Filipino is looking for a foreigner, right? If, if a Filipino wants a foreigner, they're usually looking for someone older. I wonder what that is. Someone of age. <clears throat> someone that has experience, right? Of course, naturally you bring more money, but you already know, that's not a, that's not a big deal because you ask a Filipina what she's looking for, how much, she, what does she consider rich? She'll tell you a person making fifty thousand. Yeah, but yeah, I want to ask questions about relationships and dating. I don't even have a relationship. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. But you speak English? Yeah, I'm speaking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, speak don't be shy. <laughs> Is this a personal blog? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. the Black Filipino channel. I'll show you my YouTube channel. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Are you in a relationship or are you married? Yeah, we married. Oh, that's we're married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've been married for eight years. Eight years. That's so nice. Yeah. This is the main question. What do you consider rich? What I consider rich? Yeah, what do you consider yeah, rich in the Philippines? Um, career? Yeah, like say, well, how much money per month is rich to you? I say it's about, if you're earning 100,000 100,000. Okay, okay. That's Not bad. Rich. Yep, that's considered rich. For me, for me. Okay. And how much do you want your man to make, would you say? Maybe about 50 and the other half is on mine. So you've been thinking in your head, whoa, that's nothing. So don't worry, they won't, they're not looking at you for the bag. Like for you, 50,000 is like, what, 900 bucks? I have half, so you, you're gonna provide half? Yep. Okay, so not bad. So that's what they're looking for, nothing crazy. The guys that are looking for that, right? I mean, what's great about it is you get that daddy, that daddy feeling, right? That mentor to where you pretty much not taking care of her, but you're kind of showing her the ropes. She's looking up to you. Would you date someone older? I would prefer uh, no, older, prefer. yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I'm 42, so older than me? <laughs> or, or like so what's 50? Your age range? What's your age range, yeah? Um, I'm 21, and I would date for about 26 and older, but not more than 35 years old. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, she's 26 or 35. Yeah. Do you want to date a little bit older? They say um, the older you are, the wiser you'll be. Yeah. And I think dating older men is kind of, he'll be the one to drive our relationship. Yes. And not playing around no more. Yeah. yeah. They're not playing around anymore. They're not exploring. They want to be mm -hmm. settled. Nah. A lot of guys want that. A lot of guys want to have a situation to where a woman's not trying to dictate everything. Right? It makes you feel together. It makes you feel like you can lay your hair down if you have long hair, right? Or it makes you feel like you can rest your shoulders. And then at the same time, she probably won't mind. She definitely won't mind resting, massaging your shoulders and make sure you rest it, right? But anyway, let me get into this, guys. So what you're going to find also, no matter what, whether they're old, whether they're younger, most Filipino want to be settled down for the long term. I don't know what it is. It's just in their nature. Uh, Kay, could you explain what that is, Kay? They're looking for long-term relationships. Of course, nobody want to look for short-term relationships. There's a lot of people that do, Kay. My opinion, um, there is a lot of Filipina long-term relationship because uh, there is a lot of also experience cheating. So they want like I want a guy that gonna be my forever. I don't know if it's in the other places, but for me, that's that's all I can say. Cause you don't like to like find another one and just start all over again. I really want a guy that my first boyfriend gonna be my my, hu my husband. Yeah. My first and last. I have only one body count, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you like long, long term relationship? I'm NBSB, so... What's I, that? I'm no boyfriend, no boyfriend since, since birth. birth. Oh, since birth? Yep. 
You never had a boyfriend? Uh, no. Oh, wow. I'm like the um, date to marry type. I don't want to well, play. I don't want to I explore. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, you may have to take my information. I'll tell you why. I know a lot of foreigners who are coming here who are looking to marry Filipinos that are young, that are not 50, yeah, 60, yeah. that are like 30, that are 40, but a little bit even younger, like around your age. I know a guy I, just, I met the other day, he's 29 years old. Like foreigners from other countries, they mm -hmm. go to the Philippines, they date Filipinas from provinces or from yeah. online, and they um, encounter love, and it's sincere. It's mm -hmm. really nice. I have a question for yeah, him. Sure, sure. Okay, go, sure. go. Why would you date a Filipina? Well, Why not the girls at your country? Oh, whoa. whoa. That's, that, that's, I'm really curious I about that because you. foreigners from other places go to Philippines, they find Filipinas, they marry them, they become housewives, house yeah. husbands. What's in Filipinas that really make you come here to the Philippines whoa. and marry a Filipina? What's in Filipinas is the family, number one. That's really, that's, that's true. Like, that's true. She, she actually was taking care, like her sisters, went through college and then they helped each other get through college. Yes, yes. So I didn't understand it. I was like, wow, I was so interested. Wow. Like you actually helped each other go through college? She said, yes. And then she was helping her sister. She said, one thing I have to help my sister. And I said, wow. I, that connected with me so deeply because I said, my family's not like that in the US. Yeah. I come from a time that was like that back in 1980s. It was like that, but it's not like that anymore. So the woman now, if you want someone to say, cook a meal for you, they, they won't do it. So it's, it's a lot different now. That, that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. You know, Filipinas are really family oriented. We mm -hmm. are raised traditionally. Yes. We don't leave family behind because mm -hmm. we, we all love one another. Yeah. And I'm really happy that both of you are married. Yes. Are you from the US? US? Yes, I'm from New York. I'm from New York. Then yeah. you got to meet online? Yeah, we met online. online. Yeah. We are both Adventists. I'll tell you. Oh, okay. When I met her online, I, was the, I wasn't on a Filipino dating site. I was on a Christian dating site. The woman in the U.S., they're looking for like the man with televangelists that are like, you know. Child of a rich billionaire. It, yeah, yeah. And her, the woman that was responding to me was from Thailand, Philippines, Jamaica. They were all outside of the U.S. So I met her. And then we talked and then I, we didn't talk and then I met her again and then I, it was, that I was, was it. I was working in Thailand. Yeah. I'm a teacher there. Oh, that's great. I met yeah. him and he said, yeah. But you got married here in the Philippines? Yes. Yeah, we got married here. Yes. Because there's no divorce here. <laughs> yes. And I, I, and that's what it is. Let me tell you that also. Where I'm from, divorce is the opposite of the Philippines. Yes. It's nothing but divorce. So, I'll tell you guys are looking to come here and stay here. I'll tell you the opportunity here in the Philippines. I know Filipinos online that are working that are making just as much as Americans. Yes. Because of online work. Yep. So it's a lot different. I think um, countries in the U.S. hire, hire Filipinos, mm -hmm. like virtual assistants yes. and outsourcing companies, mm -hmm. BPOs, yeah. to handle their business for, um, for customer service. You're really good at speaking. You are. I actually work part-time at um, call center. Oh. And I'm still working. Ah, I'm still studying, so it's kind of switch back and forth from working and studying. What was your it's BS Biology. Okay, okay. You're a teacher? Soon, I hope so. Oh, okay. She's a teacher. I'm a teacher. She's yes. teacher in Thailand yes. for five years. Oh, that's yeah. great. But, but I teach in Thailand because it's, yeah, it's, it's English there, right? You yeah. teach yeah. English in Thailand. I have a question. Um, would you date a foreigner if somebody, you know, along the way, um, you know, somebody see you and like, oh, I want to, you know, take you out for a date. Would you date a foreigner or you prefer Filipino? Thank you for watching this video. If you like my content, oh, be no, sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you like my content, you're welcome to support my, my content by giving a small donation by PayPal. You can go yeah, to- Quickly stop it there, but uh, <clears throat> a bit of a short, a shorter video today, but watch it, her, just her attitude and how she conducts herself it's just so refreshing and I think for me this is part of what attracted me to Filipina specifically was seeing how happy some family friends are, some personal friends are that have got married to Filipinas and 
have built a very solid, happy family. And just how traditional they are, how loving they are, how they put family first all the time. They ne- hardly ever think about themselves. And it's it's just... I don't know how to fully, de- fully describe it. It's just... It's a breath of fresh air because it's not like that here in the West. And I think my morals and how I try to conduct myself as a person match up more with people in the Philippines than people in the West. Because people in the West can be very um, selfish, egotistical, self-centred. And most of the women can be very uh, disrespectful, can be very thinking that, that, that they are the best thing since sliced bread, a gift from God, that they can have anything and anyone that they want. The fact that there's divorce here and that isn't in the Philippines as such yet. And, yeah, just just for me, just East Asian countries are just very more traditional in how they are very family-orientated, very religious in whatever religion they happen to be in. And, yeah, just... It's just weird. From the experiences that I've, I've been blessed with, in the past three visits that I've had, or is it four visits now? One, two, no, this will, no, this one will be four. Uh, yeah, so yeah, so it will be four after this one's done. And it's just opened my eyes to how lucky I am to be where I am and how hard people just have to strive and push just to make sure their bills are covered and to put food on the table every day and it was it was so eye-opening and it's just changed me as a person so so much that now that I question every time I look at spending something more than say 50 quid or 100 pounds at a time can i justify this is it worth it am i going to actually use it and i question as much as i physically can before making it and and if i can't hit say four to five markers of to justify it and can have a valid reason to why i can justify them on those points I just won't buy it. It's like, even though that I don't overly really game anymore, the past, what, two months, maybe three, I've had like some kind of strained internal struggle whether I should buy the new Formula One game. Because I, I, I didn't buy the one before. And I do like playing Formula One. <clears throat> and then I've waited and waited and waited, and then it finally uh, came out and was on offer, and I treated it, treated myself to it then, because instead of paying ninety quid for it, I paid thirty five pound something or other, because it was on offer and it was the champions edition. Yeah, so i know in my mind i've made the the correct decision for where i want my life to be going and who i want to give my life to she knows who she is she's absolutely amazing she's been the best thing that's ever happened to me and i just love her dearly and truly care for my family out in the province in philip in the philippines and i'll do everything i can to make her happy and to give her the best life that i can uh, yeah so we'll leave it there guys thank you very much for watching if you like what you see and would like to see more please don't hesitate to go and check out all our other videos please drop us a like on the video and if you're new please don't hesitate to smash the subscribe button 
tap the bell icon so you don't miss a video. And we'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye-bye for now.